All right, so now um, figure out what. Sorry about all the movement here. Um, we got our tip figured out. Now we gotta decide. Okay, how long are we gonna make this thing? Are we gonna make this a full length machete, or are we gonna make this a smaller, little smaller machete, a smaller cutting tool? Um, I think I'm gonna go with a little smaller one so I can, you know, put it on the side of my pack. Excuse me, um, and uh, kind of uh, go from there. So I think we're gonna make this thing roughly probably about. I think we're gonna start the handle at about 16 inches. I think 15 inch, 16 inch, 16 inch blade. That's a nice, nice little blade. Um, so we got our we're our um, distance there uh, 16 inches okay um, now I gotta decide how long of a handle do I want um, so I think you know my hand my hand when I grab a hold of this you know it roughly is about four inches you know a little more than four so I don't want to make it exactly four I want a little bit of lead way in there you know I, w I want some lead way in, in in that so I'm gonna go about five about five inches that gives me a nice area that you know I can I can grab a hold of so what we're doing is just gonna mark mark our five inches right there <coughs> now what we're doing here is here again um, I've already I should get this camera set up better um, okay what I've done is I've already decided how wide of a handle I want and it's roughly about oh inch and three quarter something like that yeah about inch and three quarter um, I reset this camera up a little bit better I'm gonna reset this camera up so you can see a little better and I'll be right back with you all right, zoom in here a little bit. Now we got we got the length of our our handle right there, and I pretty much know the thickness. What I want my handle uh, is roughly going to be about inch and three quarter inch and seven eighth something like that. Um, and what I want to do is, since I know my distance here. Okay, I have this already predetermined. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take, I'm going to have to do it this way, um, because of stuff being in the way here. But what I'm going to do is roughly draw, mark this down here. Now I've got the thickness of my handle. Now I'll just take, and uh, I can just take my square. And I'll come right along there. Now I can take and uh, figure out, <coughs> excuse me, where because I, I don't want to. I don't want to take anything out of the back of this. I want that to stay the same. You know, I want to take it out of this this belly here um, instead of the spine. I want to take and and come down here so I know you know pretty much right here is where you know and here's where my the back is going to be um, now what I'm gonna do is I can freehand this or I can take this and run a uh, make a nice uh, curve in that with using my tool coming around and that that give me a nice nice kind of a pocket like there um now in the backs I'm just gonna eyeball this Okay, 
So that gives me a rough, you know, a rough idea where I want to put things. Um, so you can kind of see, let me zoom this back out. Um, let me move this here for you. So you can kind of see a little better the handle. Um, I might actually take and come up in here a little bit better and then kind of curve, kind of put more of a, I don't know, hand grip in that. Um, I'm not sure yet. But I think I'm going to, if I do that, uh, I'll do it on the sander. So you can kind of see the, the, the how it's going to look. Um, you know, it won't be nothing fancy, but, uh, be pretty cool, I think. Now what we're going to do, now that we have this all ready, all pre-marked, um, actually, uh, one more thing I want to show you here. Um, let me, uh, set this camera back up. Okay. Now, so I know pretty much that I want, I want, I'm going to kind of make a, like a scanty grind on, on this. Come on, if I can get my tool to cooperate with me. Um, all right. So I know I want about roughly, uh, I don't know, half inch on that grind something like that so we're just gonna take and come down to about our half inch which um, you know I'm gonna have to mark this way which I'm pretty much there with that and that and then basically um, you know come right down around now I can take and go with my line once I come off my line there, just taking right there, and then just going down your your blade like that. Make your marks, and. Uh, that will give me, then I can just play uh, connect the dots kind of thing. Just take that apart and uh, put it where I want it. There. And then I just kind of come down a, around. And that'll give me where I want to take my grind to. Uh, when I'm grinding that down, that'll give me my bevel. So, um, and then on this one, um, you know, I'll, I'll just kind of come in. And I'm just roughing this out. That's where my bevel will come in there, you know that 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 type of thing. Um, you know, th this is just eyeballing it. You know, nothing fancy, but I'm eyeballing it. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take and, and use a grinder, uh, so you can kind of see, you know, how you, how you could do this. Average person can do this. Tools they might have around the, the house, the shop, and that. Um, I'm going to use a grinder with a cutoff wheel and uh, show you uh, show you how to, how to do that here in a second. Let me get this camera readjusted. So I'll be right back with you.